Today was the day I did this. I'm gonna have to pause that. Queens of the Stone Age. Um, the cooking consortium, everyone is already getting their shit together at 9.48. My cousins, there's my cousin's turkey. Lots of paprika, lots of paprika. My sister was like, are you using, uh, what's it called, like I did, um, Saison? And my sister was like, no. And then, then we got, uh, we got this turkey here with butter, split down the middle and buttered for a smoker. And here was another turkey. We got turkey going in from uh, Thompson. That was Thompson. Anyway, we got turkeys, turkeys everywhere. So now it's time for my turkey or our turkey. This is the official Z Cooks turkey, which a headphones have to be next to the turkey because that's how we do it. So just pull this fucker out of the fridge and you could see it's taken up like the drying of the skin. And I asked my cousin, should I salt it? And he's like, no. So it's time to preheat the oven. Now I have two ovens which gives me two choices. Either I want the oven with the fan on it, um, which I'm probably not gonna use because I feel like convection is not gonna help this bird. Convection I like for like just quickly cooking things. We're slow cooking this, but we are gonna blast it with 500 degrees because my cousin and the Alton method, I, I, I trust in Alton Brown. So we're gonna do some modifications to my, um, you're in a bra, get out of my kitchen. We're gonna take this and put this on the floor here. We're gonna put you on the wall, 20 feet away from my rocket stove, because I don't want anything above the turkey. We're gonna take out these things, put them here. Um, we're gonna, I don't think I'm gonna put anything under that roasting pan. My cousin does it on a, a bed of vegetables to keep it off the bottom. I do have like racks I could tr probably get this up on. Uh, how big are these racks? How big is your rack? Mm. Uh, and do I really need to put it up on a rack? Like I feel like I kind of like when it's sitting in its own juices. So I'm gonna not. Another reason I want to do it on the bottom is because my bottom stove has, look, that's literally on rollers. It's designed for giant roasts or heavy ass turkeys. So it just, it rolls, instead of sliding the metal on metal like everything else does. So we're gonna preheat lower on broil. No, we want bake 500 start. So we have an oven temperature, it's 100 degrees or it's the lowest it'll go. Let's do some shit to this bird. Now, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I feel like I don't know what to do. But there's more light here. So, the initial 500 degree burst is going to be how we uh, get the skin nice and crispy. But we don't wanna cook it. We don't wanna cook it at 500 degrees, that's bad. But we also have the problem that the white meat is done way before the dark meat. The dark meat's the, the drumsticks and the thighs that are... Mm. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to do like, I think Alton's, this is Alton method as well, but my cousin's done it and I've done it with chickens and it helps a great deal, is you make a conspiracy theory tinfoil hat. And I don't remember the exact methodology to do this. But you make a triangle out of fucking multiple layers of foil. Foil. Let's see. Because if anyone's watching this, I apologize for how bad I am. I'm gonna do it the way I think it should be done. I'm gonna make like a paper airplane, but foil. So, get that, and then we're gonna do like... Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna protect the breast meat. So the breast meat goes all the way from here to here. We don't want that getting hit with all the fucking heat of the oven. We want to sort of like, like wrap it up. You know, wrap it before you tap it, boys and girls. And actually, I don't need to make it a triangle. It has to be like that wide there, and then it just gets progressively wider there. So I'm gonna go with like, do we have enough length? I wanna cover it all the way. See, that's, that's starting dark meat again. So we're just trying to cover like up here. So I'm not gonna do a full fuck. Thing. We're gonna do like, like, that's the width of the top. There we go. 
and we're gonna form it because once we have this in the 500 degree oven and it gets crisp for, I, I'm gonna have to check the voice message, I think uh, like half an hour. We're gonna take it out and then we're gonna apply this foil hat to it. So unless you wanna be squeezing onto a 500 degree outside turkey, you wanna do this now. In fact, we're gonna spritz it. I'm planning on spritzing the whole thing with oil anyway. But we're just gonna form the, we're gonna make the hat so that we have the hat to just shove on our turkey. And we can see how much we have to like remove. Cause this is a lot easier cause it's a cold ass turkey. So I'm just gonna fold that up. We're making a hat. Hats are good. Fold this up, we don't need it covering the, we don't need it covering the legs or anything. So we're just gonna crinkle it up where we don't need it. Good, good, good. Good, good, Mr. Tobo Kane. Uh, that's a good, good shield. Get that down a little more, down on the sides. And now I've touched turkey. So now that we have turkey hat, we're just gonna peel that off and leave it right there. That's it. That's, it has to be that shape, that exact shape. You're just gonna go whoop back on this motherfucker. So I'm gonna to continue to spritz this with cooking spray so that we get a nice, cause you know, it's already a fatty skin, but we're just, we're gonna fucking, and I don't care about the, these, the wings. I don't care. I don't care about them. I don't eat them. I'm just gonna throw them out in the fucking woods of the bears show up. Um, what we do need to do is now hit this with shit, like flavor. We're here to flavor things. So nothing's more flavorful than fucking salt. Sue me. So I'm just gonna go berserk with salt. Let's see what pasta has to say. She's shoe shopping right now and I need to be a part of all of the shoes. I bought them for her. Gee. They're nice red shoes. I'm sure she knows. Um, This is citrus. Let's go with like a citrusy. This is this is like dry, like orange peels. I forget what store I got them, but it makes everything just more flagrant and mm, mm, it's like hand sanitizer. Italian seasoning because I'm Italian and I don't know anything else to do anything else. My cousin did paprika and I might add some paprika to this just because I have so much paprika, but what kind of Thanksgiving would it be if I didn't red pepper flake this shit too? And the uh, spritz with the oil helps all this stuff stick. Oh yeah, there's a little spice on my fucking, my chicken's outside, chicken, turkey, turkey's outside. Yeah, so now we've got some citrus, we've got some spice, we've got salt, copious amounts of salt. Um, because the skin, you wanna over flavor the skin because the turkey itself is only flavored with the brine and itself. So you really want to uh, get it. You want to uh, get it. Any other spices I want to get out of the thing? Garam masala, nutmeg, poppy seeds, full, full fuck red pepper flakes. You know what? I have this Everglades heat stuff. That's pretty good. I'm just going to sprinkle that on the, adjust the drumsticks. Just the drumsticks are getting Everglades heat. Because why not? I'll throw that some of that right in the, yeah. Mm, these wings that I don't actually like. Dark meat. Dark meat gets Everglades heat. <coughs> Anything else? No? Great. So our next step, before we put this in the oven for that, um, because we're not gonna wanna touch it again. Once, well, this is it. It's a comfortable thing, we can touch it right now. Is, I'm gonna wash my probe. It's got spice in my mouth. I may have somehow inhaled a red pepper flake. That's weird. I have a spicy mouth. So we probe the dark meat because the white meat undercooks, overcooks it. We're, we're praying for the white meat. The dark meat will be the thing that determines when we're done. So now, it's a turkey, it's pretty large. We're not worried about the popper, the popper's done. We need to get this into the dark meat. 
Now it's registering 63 degrees because it's been in the thing now, 64, 68, 70. So we are looking for the temperature of my refrigerator because this just came out 10 minutes ago. So when I get it into the coldest part of the breast, it should, if it's, if I put it in there and it says 55, it's probably not in the deepest part of the breast. It's probably going to still be in like the forties since it's been in the refrigerator, the refrigerator. I just don't know how to make this go. I mean, I got the inside. I can go from the inside and down. I feel like that's a good 42, 41, 40. 39, so that's, we're in there. This thing's been sitting out for 10 minutes, it would not be 39 degrees anywhere on the outside, like half inch of it. I'm satisfied with 139. Now my cousin cooks the internal uh, dark meat temperature to 155. So, oh, I'm gonna upload this today, by the way, on Thanksgiving, so you could watch me do it. And then I'll upload the, um, the final stuff tomorrow. So 39 is good, and I'm doing this, even though I'm gonna put it in and take it out and then cover it and put it back in at a lower temperature. Like we're gonna do a 500, then it's coming out. We're gonna open the door, let it sit there, lower it to 350, and then put it in for the rest of its cook, however long that takes. Keep an eye on that 39, by the way. It should not go up in the next few minutes. Where's my temperature at? 200, so this oven is gonna take a bit. So I guess, so not waste this video, which will be uploaded, let's get other things out of the closet. Or the pantry. I have a pantry. I have a pantry. Now, sweet potato pie, which I don't have real sweet potatoes because just for reasons. Um, uh, uh, I'll take these fat beets. Give me these. Oh, wait. I want some gravy. Some gravy. Let me do some stovetop. And actually, real, real quick. Hold on. Um, the stovetop box and the stovetop every day are completely different things. Because if you look at the ingredients or look at this, uh, let's see, calories from fat is the same. Um, sodium, 390, sodium, 450. It's saltier. Uh, sugar's two grams, two. Yeah, this has more salt in it. This one actually tastes better. But you usually buy this one. So I don't know why it's called every day. Ah! We'll, do, we'll take the box. We're taking the box, Chewbacca. Come on. I didn't clean my kitchen up nearly as much as I should have for Thanksgiving. Although I'm going to be eating up in the mezzanine. So there's my stuffing. There's my gravy. We got. I may not use all three cans of yams. Oh, uh, this is the oldest one. But I'm definitely going to use. I'm going to make us some sort of sweet potato pie. And then I got these Rick's picks fat beets. So I've got beets, sweet potato pie, gravy, stuffing. I'm gonna need more stuffing than that, aren't I? And then we're gonna go down the basement. We're gonna go down the basement where I have my frozen vegetables because I'm pretty sure I don't have that many up here. I mean, actually I do, like stuff like this. Like this, this is my vegetables for the fucking, this, fuck you. Yeah. We'll go down the basement. I think I have other different frozen vegetables. So we could start on something else, Chewbacca. But for now, we're waiting for the turkey to go in. All right, we're gonna drain. I've decided to go whole hog. Cause there's not much in here. Once you drain, like there's a lot of liquid in this. And we're gonna get rid of like all of that liquid. These are the two new cans. And here's the oldest can. Oh yeah, definitely a different color. A lighter color. Let those drain, because we're gonna try to add our own liquids to that. Our oven has reached 500. Chewbacca, we're at 500 now, baby. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the turkey in stages. So it's not, I really should put that back together. You're right in the turkey's way, baby. You're right in the way of turkey progress. I know what you want, and it's not gonna happen unless you move now the biggest problem i have with this kitchen besides i have no place to put my pots and pans it makes no fucking sense um is that okay where do i put my oven thermometer if i'm using the top one i could put it in here but if i'm using this bottom one that's all stainless steel nothing is magnetic i'm gonna have to add i have to screw a plate of metal somewhere next to my fucking stoves 
so that I can use my ther thermometer somewhere. Which, by the way, we're at 42 with all that time it took. So let's just pop this hot bitch open. We're trying to keep as much heat in there as we can. So, oh, get in there. Actually, I do have this yellow tack that they fucked my walls up with. Let's just do this then. Ugh. That ain't gonna stay. Yellow tack's not very good. I don't understand why, why, what even is yellow tack? Can I put you here? Okay, um, shit, I didn't figure out the exact amount of time I need to do this for. Where'd my phone go? Shit. I go back to the Z Cooks. Unplug that for a second so you guys can hear it too. Um, the Z Cooks. Pinned voice message. No, 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 no. You put it in the oven. For half an hour at 500 degrees. Half an hour. With no foil on it to toast the skin. According to Alton, which is what I always do. Then take it out, put the turkey triangle aluminum foil over the breast, and put it back in the oven at 350 until the probe thermometer says one. I go to 155 in the breast. There should be approximately a 20 degree difference between the breast and the thigh, and you should be perfectly done. So it's half hour at 500, nothing on the turkey, no, and then take it out. Put the foil over the breast part, so the triangle you gotta make, put, form it over the breast, put it back in the oven at 350, till the probe says, well, I'll go to 155, you should be good. That's it. I mean, diluting the flavor of turkey. Okay, so 30 minutes in there, which gives me enough time to prep for other things that we're making. Uh, it's made it all slimy. Everything's all slimy now. Hello, daddy. Hello, mom. B -b 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 cherry bomb. Oh, world, I'm your wild girl. B -b 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 cherry bomb. Okay. Uh, put these in the recyclables, which I'm going to have to start using that back one now. We're going to. I know I've never had a pasta dish for like Thanksgiving, but I feel the urge to have a pasta dish, which we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stick blend. I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna try to edit this real short so I could actually upload it today. So if you've not watched my sweet potato pie thing, you, you, you usually use real sweet potatoes. I'm using these fucking uh, Bruce's yams literally because I couldn't get sweet potatoes. I don't know what it is about this, this fucking Eastern part of PA, but they don't seem to enjoy sweet potato. Oh, I should probably try one of these also. Try one of the newer ones. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do all my, I'm gonna do my standard, um, my standard mix. It's not that sweet, and the syrup didn't do that. Oh, fuck! I used all my fucking sugar, you fuck! Oh, it's fine, it's fine. I used all my regular sugar, it's fine. It's fine, I have confectioner's sugar. I just, I just use this just powdered sugar, it'll be fine. I need that, I need brown sugar. And I need, I still have my mango juice. I like the mango juice. Go watch my thing. Go watch my sweet potato recipe. This is on this channel, go. 30 seconds left on our half hour. Um, obviously this is a great time to figure out if you put the probe in the right spot, because according to this, well, the turkey's already at 144 degrees out of the 155 we need, so I obviously probed it in a bad spot. So what we'll do is, we're gonna yank the turkey out of the tray, we're gonna lower the, actually I'm gonna do it right now. We're gonna go uh, three, actually I gotta do bake, 350 start. So that will, we'll set the temperature lower already, because we're on the last zero seconds on that. I'm just gonna pull the turkey out. I'm gonna have to put that on the floor and I. Oh, like a, like, a, like a peasant. Beautiful skin on that. It puts the lotion on its skin so we could eat it. So step one is to relocate this probe. We are going to, if I give to it a yank, what do we get to? 121, 111, 
103, 98, 94, 92, 91, 90, 89. I feel like I just put it in a perfect spot without even trying. So it's always best to put the probe too far in and just yank it out until it's good. So here we go. We're gonna, our skin is done. There's our hat that we didn't have to form over a very, very hot bird. And um, 82, 81, it's still dropping. So I'm just gonna let some of the heat out of the oven because we want it at 350, not 500. Which I think having it blatantly open like this much has probably done our job already. So I'm gonna shove you back in without fucking the wire up real bad or repositioning our perfect temperature placement now that we've messed up. Oh, by the way, the fan you hear is not a convection oven, 79. That makes way more sense. Um, that's just, there's a, because this is an in-wall unit, it has to have a fan, since it's in my wall. In my wall, there's a piece of steak for you. I gotta go to Japan and buy some more fake food, it's so nice. Um, so here's what I've also decided, I'm not gonna make frozen vegetables, that's stupid. I, I got a whole fucking bag, like a giant Costco bag of spinach. So, oh, I've um, put, I made this much sweet potato pie, I used all three cans, which leaves me this much extra for leftovers, and I can add my own marshmallows to that. So I'm gonna do it in this, because that's the proper amount, and I'm gonna make cream spinach, which I've tried to make like a 100 times and it's never any good. So I'm gonna follow an actual recipe, and you'll see the results of this tomorrow, because we're gonna stop this video and upload it. But uh, apparently I'm gonna need 20 ounces of baby spinach, got way more, butter, got it, yellow onion, got it, garlic, got it, Milk, got it. Heavy cream, don't got it. I gotta see if I could freeze heavy cream, because if I could freeze heavy cream in like icicles or, or things, then I'll always have heavy cream. I have cream cheese. <coughs> it's vegetable cream cheese. <laughs> it's gonna have to work. I got kosher salt, I got black pepper, I got cayenne pepper, and I got Parmesan. So I've wrote mono, so it's the same thing. So I'm gonna follow this delish. If you wanna look this up, it's just delish creamed spinach by McKinsey Gore. No relation. Um, and we're gonna see what we can get done with that. Because if I have fresh vegetables, fuck it, fresh, it'll be fine. So, sweet potato pie made from Bruce's yams. Um, stuffing, which I'm gonna modify, I'm not sure how yet, but I'm certainly not just gonna make stovetop stuffing, that's boring. Let's put some sausage in it. So I have to, I'm gonna do this cream spinach now. I'm, I'm trying to boil water on my stove and it takes for fucking ever. And beets. And then we have the uh, apple crumb crassata for dinner, for dessert. It's apparently stuck to the, there it goes, it moved. So that's it, that's, this is my Thanksgiving so far. We, uh, we're at 78, we'll get that to 155. I have no idea how long it's gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna get the other side dishes ready, like the sweet potato pie just has to be warmed up. So I can use my other oven, because I have multiple ovens, um, which is fantastic, honestly. Like, I said, I have to move this to open that. Yeah, I can do all sorts of wonderful things, with multiple ovens and a warming drawer. So I'm gonna get all this set up, um, happy Thanksgiving to all of y'all. I hope mine turns out okay. I'm gonna have it up in the, uh, up there on my table, my old dining room table. I finally set back up, the one that I built. And you're good. Cream spinach and friends. Friends! I hope you're with someone. I'll be with my, I got a cat. Come here. Come here, Thanksgiving cat. Come. Love me for Thanksgiving. I gotcha. Ah, oh, drag you away. <sighs> you kind of look like a turkey. All right, we're done.